guys, how's it going? Tess back again with another quick transfer update from the tran from the Chelsea career mode here on Xbox One. As you can see, we are very, very interested in Marco Royce. We were looking to buy him in the January transfer window earlier on in the season, and he didn't. Uh, you know, they wanted too much money, and I'm being very, very brave here. Now, I don't know what sort of reaction this is going to get from you guys, but I'm offering a straight swap. One matter. For Marco Royce. Now, in real life, I would never even dream of making a, uh, a transfer like this. But on FIFA, Marco Royce is so much more effective than Juan Mata, and Juan had a really poor season for us in the season just gone. He uh, he picked up the biggest disappointment award in the Player of the Year awards, and he just hasn't been putting in the performances for us, despite playing a lot of games. He played 40 plus games, just didn't have the same sort of impact. So I have to wait and see what happens with Marco Royce. That is a massive transfer, massive potential transfer. But I am looking for a striker, and uh, Luis Muriel is a player that fits the bill. Looking for, as we uh, as we say, we're looking for a pacey striker with good feet and a good finish. Luis Muriel f fits every single one of those criteria, and isn't all that expensive and is still only 23 years old so I am definitely looking into him uh, as you can see we're getting a few offers in for uh, for our first team players Ramirez we had an offer in for, for Oscar in the previous transfer update video that we rejected the 23 million pound bid we put in for Lucas Mara was rejected so we're going to try 26 still looking for that winger although if Marco Royce comes in which it does look like it's going to be possible as you can see the transfer offer has been accepted a straight swap one matter for Marco Royce Borussia Dortmund are interested in that deal. Mata would be a perfect replacement for Shinji Kagawa or uh, Mario Goetze for Borussia Dortmund. And uh, Marco Royce is a player that uh, I am very, very keen on bringing into the club. So I've matched his wage demands. Given him crucial first-team player, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But Rafael Varane's had a bid put in for him from Monaco. We're rejecting that. Varane is such a good prospect. 84 rated and only 21 years old. Absolutely superb if we can get hold of him. The offer we put in for Luis Muriel was rejected, or the inquiry was rejected so uh, I'm not too sure what to do there you guys will have to let me know whether we go for him or someone else but so uh, we've had an offer in from Real Madrid for Diego Costa uh, I don't want to sell him for 11 and a half million pounds especially when he's valued at 13 so I put in a counter offer of 25 they actually just rejected that all told so uh, Diego Costa at present isn't moving out of the club but you can see me spazzing out on screen I just I didn't know what to do but in the end I did accept the offer Juan Mata is gone Marco Royce arrives at Chelsea Football Club that is the biggest transfer we have made to date in this career mode and we may even make a bigger transfer yet trying to bring a striker in because of course that saved us money we now have a transfer budget of 42 million pounds and a large remaining wage budget so this is a potential transfer as well 89 rated 22 year old Neymar Neymar at Chelsea Football Club is a possibility we'll have to wait and see what happens with that but that's going to bring this particular episode to a close guys so thank you very much for watching again leave plenty of suggestions in the comments for uh, for potential transfers i'm not going to record any more of this until uh, sunday evening once i've got loads of feedback from you guys and then we can start on the uh, the the season proper because we'll be out of the world cup by then because of course you will have seen earlier on today that we had the quarter final of uh, the uh, England at Rio mini series, and uh, we play Portugal in that one. So I'll leave a link to that in the bottom left hand side of your screen to make sure that you don't miss out on that video. Please show that some huge support, and feel free as well to drop this video a like as well. Show some support. Let me know in the comments as well what you think of that Matter Royce transfer. I uh, I tweeted out saying I'm not sure what sort of reaction it's going to get from you guys, from you guys, and I'm still not sure what sort of reaction it's going to get. But personally, I I think it's a positive move. I'm excited to use Marco Royce, and uh, fingers crossed he can help us uh, push forward in all four competitions next year just like we did in the season just gone but uh, that's going to bring this one to a close guys thank you very much for watching and uh, feel free to uh, subscribe as well if you haven't already i will uh, just throw that in there there will be a link in the description and an annotation on screen in the top right of your uh, picture but i will end now this is already over four minutes long and it's only just a mini transfer update so thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you next time